Welcome to our daily Forex market analysis call and this is in preparation for trading on March 6th, 2018. Just a quick disclaimer before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business so please be careful with your money. All right, so we'll start off as usual by taking a look at our Forex factory calendar here. A couple of things that um, came out first was services PMI for British Pound came in positive. We saw British Pound go up. Another thing that pushed British Pound up was also statement from Prime Minister Theresa May saying that they're close to reaching an agreement on Brexit transition. So that was a big news, really pushed it up, even though um, Prime Minister Theresa May spoke last week. Um, this one had a bigger impact. So that's why we saw a pound push up. The non-manufacturing non PMI numbers came in positive for dollar. However, it did not do much. So that, um, so, so that was that. Okay, right now, or just a little while earlier, we saw current account number and retail sales numbers come in negative for Aussie. But we do have a big thing coming up for Australian dollar, which is the cash rate and Reserve, Reserve Bank of Australia rate statement. And then we have Governor Lau speaking tomorrow or in the London session. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, sorry, not, uh, not in the London session, but tomorrow. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, with the position that we saw for RBA last time, they were not hugely bullish. And as a result of that, Aussie had dropped. So we'll have to keep an eye to see what happens. So Aussie yen could be a potential short. We'll, we'll keep an eye, see how it goes. But um, that would have to be after the RBA statement comes out and not a good idea to trade while Governor Lau is speaking here. Um, and we also have MPC member Haldin speaking. So again, with any of the central bankers speaking, we could get um, impact from there. But in our London session, there isn't a whole lot going on. We do have GDP, so a lot of numbers coming up for Australian dollar. But other than that, um, it is a fairly quiet in the morning. So let's go to our charts here. So this is uh, where we are. Let's start from the top. Okay, so in terms of Euro dollar here, Euro dollar has been pushing up, but now we are into the support resistance level that we were in previously. With the Euro here, we saw it push down, but it closed up high. So overall, we are into this, into this bullish sort of momentum for the last few days, and now it looks like it wants to push up higher, but we would need to see a break above 123.50 level. So a sustained break above 123.50 level. And if we get that, then we could see uh, Euro go higher into 124.80 level back into the support and resistance area. So based on what we are seeing here, it does have that bullish momentum in it. The, um, the close today was bullish to neutral. We do have a pin to the downside and we have a green candle close, but I don't like the pins on both sides that shows indecision. And that is normal because we just had Italian elections so that the politics were playing a role in here as well. So we'll have to see how this goes. For now, it looks quite bullish. We saw price came right into this S1 level and then shot off from here. It's holding above the pivot right now. So if it continues higher, if it holds above this level 123.50, then we are looking at a potential of this going um, higher here. But again, like I said, because we are into resistance, uh, it's important to wait for an actual clear break and price to hold on the other side. The target here is 124.80 once price breaks to the other side. But if it fails to break, then we could come, we could see it come and test the bottom here again. 121.50 would be the target. But for now, this is looking bullish. Pound here, pound is looking bullish as well. So we had a pin bar, bullish pin bar. And since then it has moved up. Today was the biggest move that we have seen in the last few days or last little while here. And that was all on the speculation that um, uh, an agreement could be reached with the 
European, uh, with the Eurozone, essentially, so with the European Union. So let's see how that plays out. Speculation will be uh, pretty rampant in this pair. So I am expecting pound dollar to be volatile based on what kind of comments come out in terms of Brexit negotiations. But right now, we are into resistance just like Euro, but it does have more of a bullish momentum that, than Euro does. So once we see the break of the high, which looks like it's going to break, I'm looking for price to move up higher into 139.50 level. So looking at the one hour, as we can see, price pulled back into this previous high. It's holding above the high and looks like it wants to push up higher. We do have multiple levels of support resistance in here. So it may not be as smooth sailing, but the target will be 139.50 um, for the next level here. So pound dollar looks bullish. Aussie dollar here, Aussie has had a pin bar here, bullish pin bar as well. And that suggests a further move to the upside. The target here would be 78.20 level, which is the tip of this pin here. So bias is to the upside. But again, because we do have RBA, things could change uh, with the RBA rate decision or even the commentary uh, from RBA. So that's something to be kept in mind. But for now, um, we are getting higher lows, prices pushing up. So this looks bullish as well, Aussie dollar. New Zealand dollar here. A New Zealand dollar is weaker than Aussie um, right now. But again, that could change based on RBA decision. Um, and we have for this one here, um, it's bearish. So I don't see a huge amount of bullishness here. We have bearish pin bar, still bearish candle close, but this one's weaker now. Um, however, the momentum is to the downside. So I'm going to, um, my bias will be to the downside here, looking for price to come down lower into this 0 0.7180 level. So that will be the target to the downside. So bias is bearish for this one. So we have a high and now we're just consolidating. So a bias for, to the downside for New Zealand dollar here. Dollar CAD here. Dollar CAD is interesting. We have had a big move up and a lot of that had to do with the tariffs. So now we may get pullback because, or we are already getting pullback because um, there's speculation about uh, negotiating NAFTA and then, um, you know, coming up with some sort of an agreement there. Um, so for this one, based on the daily candle close, the bias is to the upside and I'm looking for price to move up higher. So the move that I am looking for here would be a pullback and then a further move to the upside. So looking for price to come and retest this previous support resistance area, which is a very important level. So this is 1.2920 level. So I'm looking for a pullback into 129.20 and then a further move to the upside back into the support and resistance area at 130.40 level. So that's our, um, that's the targets so looking at one hour here. So this is where I'm looking for the pullback to come to 129.20 and then a further move to the upside potentially. Bias based on the daily here is bullish. Euro Swiss franc here, this is bullish. We had a pin bar, now bullish candle close, looking for a further move. Target would be 1.1640 level back into the top of these pins. So bias is to the upside for Euro Swiss. Pound Swiss as well, our daily candle close is quite bullish here. So looking for price to move up higher. And the target in this case would be 1.3120 level. So we could move up higher on that. Now with all the pound crosses, I would be cautious just because um, we could, any kind of comment, any kind of comments from um, Prime Minister Theresa May or anybody uh, could call or from the eurozone could cause this to really have you know be volatile so be mindful of that dollar swiss franc here so overall biases to the downside but we did have a bullish candle close wasn't quite engulfing but it is bullish candle close so this one we have to be careful with um, based on the daily here we could 
push up higher or we could see a move to the upside. Not the best pair to trade in my opinion at this point because it is, um, it's pulling back right now. So based on the daily, we could get one of these moves to the upside and target would be 94.20. Or we could see price come into this level here and then move higher from there, which is 93.60 or 93.50 level, and then move higher from there. So um, the daily bias is to the upside, but momentum right now is a little to the downside. So I would be cautious with this one and see how price moves first before um, attempting to take a trade. But based on the daily, uh, the bias would be to the upside. Pound yen here. Pound yen is looking strong. So based on the daily candle close here, that's very bullish candle engulfed the previous two candles here. So looking quite bullish. And in this case, the first target, we are very close to 147.50. And then second target will be 148.50 to the upside. Um, again, what happens with uh, pound will, pound dollar will have an impact on this. But what we're seeing right now is price moved up. And then we had, so we had a double bottom here. Price moved up, consolidated, and did another one, consolidation. And now we could see third leg to the upside here. So it looks bullish at the moment, but we, like I said here, there is um, resistance right over here, right where we are currently. There's further resistance here and further resistance at 148.50 level. So it is, um, it's, I'm expecting it to be volatile, but biases to the upside for now. Euro yen here as well, uh, biases to the upside. We are coming into resistance here though. Uh, from a previous November 2017 here. Um, so that would be a concern. So 131.40 level, there's resistance at, based on daily candle close, so that's a very, very bullish candle close. So we could see a further move to the upside here. 132.20 um, will be the level to watch out for, which is the tip of this pin bar here. So we could see this, um, this pullback go all the way into this previous support and resistance at 132.20 level. Uh, so biases to the upside for that. Dollar yen as well here, uh, we have a bullish engulfing candle close price could not break the previous low here. And with this one, now I would be looking for a move to the upside, but we have resistance at 106.80 level. So that will be the target to the upside. And if the price is not able to break above that, we could see uh, price move back lower as well. But for now, I'm looking for price to move up higher. So with the yen crosses, we have seen them drop quite a bit. So it's normal to have pullbacks. Now we just need to see if yen is actually changing directions or it's just a pullback for another move to the downside. So caution, um, is warranted for all these yen crosses. Aussie yen, that's a bullish engulfing candle close here, looking for price to move up higher. 83.20 would be the target to the upside. Um, again, we have RBA coming out, so be mindful of that for now, the biases to the upside. CAD yen here, CAD yen, we have a bullish candle close here, that's bullish pin bar, which would suggest a move to the upside. Now, the concern with CAD is just from our fundamentals perspective with Bank of Canada, rate decision coming up. I am, from fundamental uh, perspective, I am bearish on this one. I don't think Bank of Canada would be in a position to raise rates right now or raise further rates with all the concern around NAFTA. And then we have all these tariff talk of tariffs. So that should put uh, some sort of a, uh, you know, damper on the positive um, feelings of wanting to raise rates because it could jeopardize Canadian economy as a result of that. I'm not expecting Bank of Canada to be overly bullish at this point. So fundamentally, I am bearish on this. However, if yen weakens, which it did today, this one could go higher. And from technical perspective, this is a bullish candle close. 
Uh, what that means is we could see a pullback and it could go all the way, or we could see a move higher and it could go all the way to 82.70 or 82.80 level here. So that would be the concern with this particular trade. I am in the trade at the moment. Um, I am a little negative right now, but what I'm looking for would be price to move up and see if he can get that. So uh, basically price to bounce off of this um, R1 level and see if it can stay lower. So, so that's what I'm looking for. But again, like I said, there is risk in this trade and that's why caution is very important. Um, I'm not taking a huge trade. I'm taking about half of my position size that I have available to trade. So only taking half of that position size uh, because it is sort of counter to our daily trend. All right, so last one here, New Zealand yen, just like all the other yen crosses, New Zealand yen is pushing up higher as well. The target would be 77.20 level here, and uh, we'll just have to keep an eye on, on yen to see if um, it does opposite of that. But for now, based on the daily candle close, the bias is to the upside. Target would be 77.20 level here. Uh, one that I was looking at was pound CAD here. Pound CAD, uh, we are all the way into this previous support and resistance level with pound CAD going way back in 2014 and not quite at, or maybe here July or March of 2016. Um, April, May, somewhere in there anyway. So this one here, so that's an important level of support and resistance. I'm keeping an eye on this and we'll see if there's, there's a potential setup in this one. For now, what I'm looking at is um, a pullback because of strong support and resistance. What we have seen here as well has been a very, very strong move to the upside. We saw move up, continuation, or sorry, consolidation sideways and another move to the upside. Now, this one here, we'll have to see if that's a consolidation and we could see one of these breakouts, then I'm not gonna touch it. So at this point, overall bias is to the upside. However, because we are at a key level here, uh, from our weekly perspective, we are back into these levels all the way from here. I'm gonna keep an eye on this and see how price reacts here. Um, either at where it is at 1.80 level or then if it goes through that, it could go to 81.8100. So we'll have to keep an eye on this. But overall, the trend has been very much to the upside. And I'm just looking for a bit of a pullback, see if we, if we get that. But I'm not taking this trade at, at the moment. It's just something to keep an eye on looking um, it's holding up there, so it could go higher. So we just have to be careful. Um, with this one, we have um, a Canadian dollar is not very strong, and hence this was a very, very nice move today. I was not trading, so I didn't really take this trade, but this was a very, very nice trade um, that, that we saw today. And if we see a break to the upside, there may be an opportunity to go long in this one as well. So we'll keep an eye on that, see how it goes. Um, and that's all I have. Any questions? Um, gold and pound New Zealand. So dollar hasn't done very well. Um, pound New Zealand is... Um, so U.S. dollar, even though we got positive data, we saw it drop. And let's take a look as a result when, um, when that happens. Gold goes in the opposite direction. It has pushed up over the last few days, but the daily candle close is bearish. So what could happen with gold here could be one of these and a drop from there. Um, so bearish candle close, not a big move as we can see it's just been going sideways so it could do one of these right so we have high lower high lower high and then it could just do a test of one 1326.80 level and then drop from there 
um, I would be careful of this one. But if it closes above this previous high here, then it could go to the next level at 1340 level. Uh, but I would watch out this 1320. So first level to watch would be 1325. And next one would be just the tip of that 1327-ish level uh, would be the two levels to watch. Because if it stays below that, then we're looking for price to drop further. So gold to drop into 1306, uh, it could kind of basically come back down. So it could be one of these, drop, pull back, drop, pull back, drop. And then another one was Pound New Zealand. Um, I would imagine that was bullish, but let's take a look. Pound has been very bullish and New Zealand dollar, not so much. Okay, so this looks bullish based on the daily candle close. So we could see it go all the way into this 1.1980 level. And if you look at one hour, it is consolidating here. Uh, but if the, so it hasn't broken above this level. So um, if it stays below this level, so it's kind of like doing a double top. If it stays below this level, then it could come back um, at least into this S1 level. Or what we could see is because the daily is bullish, it could do one of these as well. So based on the daily close, this is looking bullish. Um, we are um, into resistance right over here though. So, it could, so that would make a difference, but daily candle close is bullish. So 1.9280 will be the next level um, as target. All right, so that's all I have. We will wrap it up. I will keep an eye on that uh, CAD position here and see how that goes. You're welcome, bye for now.